Hello, tap dancing tubers, and welcome back. Let's play Undertale with me, Blue Ankylo. Hope you're ready for this. But I'm afraid it's time for spooky spiders. <laughs> Did you hear what they just said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. Come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I might. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I have not done that lately. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Muffet has trapped us. Well, I did not have nearly enough money to buy her very expensive spider pastries. Alright. Well, let's get this going. We could just pay her money, huh? I don't know how much money you need, or exactly what to do, but let's check her out and see what to do. Attack 38.8, defense 18.8. If she invites you to her parlor, excuse yourself. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Oh. I'm going for heart change mode. I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> Trapped in a strange purple red. Web. Alright, have some money. You pay 10 gold. Muffet reduces her attack. Why so pale? You should be proud. Maybe I should save that for later when it gets really hard. I thought you just had to pay her a certain amount of money and eventually she would, uh... Give up. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. I'm proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. <laughs> She's got a neat little tune as well. All the spiders clap along to the music. Let you go? Don't be silly! All the spiders continue to clap. You struggle to escape. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Alright, now there's donuts. All the spiders clap along. Up next, I think this is like parachuting spiders. Oh, it's more expensive now. It used to be 10 gold. Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you a discount. Oh, how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two! I'm going along to the beat of the music and it's not working. Giant killer spider! Excuse me if I'm quiet, I gotta concentrate here. <laughs> Muffet does a synchronized dance with the other spiders. Here, have some money. person who warned us about you. Oh, okay, that was... I could have moved over a bit. I took one dam... or two damage and then I healed one. That's not so bad. Offered us a lot of money for your soul. She's getting faster, though. Why didn't I heal that turn? Where's my healing regeneration thing? I don't know if I should spend all my money. You struggle to escape the web, but nothing happens. They had such a sweet smile and... <laughs> oh boy. Boomerangs. Boomerang spiders, guys. Muffet pours you a cup of spiders. <laughs> Boomerangs everywhere. 
It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows, changing shape. Hmm. Could it be... The flower? All the spiders clap along to the music. You guys should clap along to the music, too. You pay some more money. Why not? Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? And I forgot about to feed my pet. Oh, I'm not even paying attention. What am I doing? Oh, boy. Good, good time to do the lowered attack thing, I think. Oh, there's no time. Oop, nope. Just get out of the way. I don't want... I, I would assume maybe you just get eaten instantly if you get to the bottom there and just die, so... It's getting very expensive. With that money, the spider clans can finally be reunited. I wonder if you eat a spider donut in here if she gets really mad at you. I don't have any, but... Alright, look, just take my money. I don't know if this actually gets us to the end of the fight or not. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations. Another cup of spiders. That's the last of my money. I'll save it for, like, a really dangerous one, maybe. Even if they go under the door, Snowden's fatal cold is impassable alone. So, like... If we let her spiders free, am I dooming the world to deadly spiders? Deadly monster spiders? Alright, have my money. But with the money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limo. Okay. Um. Yeah, that one, huh? All the spiders clap. Now there's a million things. I don't have any money! You empty your pockets, but you don't have enough money. Muffet lowers the price. Thanks, Muffet. She's actually quite nice. And with all the leftovers, we could have a nice vacation. Or even build a spider baseball field. Well. I should maybe heal up. I got lots of healing items. That's okay. Let's have some, uh... Some CT. This will make me move quicker. But speed is restricted by web. Aww! That's no fair. But enough of that. It's time for dinner, isn't it? Mwahaha. <laughs> It'd be nice to have speed for this fight. I mean, basically dying. Even if you could just move, like, left and right on this on this screen faster. Oh, man. Okay, it's not going so well. You're still alive! <laughs> oh, my pet! Looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying they saw you and... Even if you are stingy, you never hurt a single spider. Oh, my. This has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul. They must have meant a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime. And for no charge at all. I'll wrap up, wrap you up, and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you now. All right, we'll spare each other. No money. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. She just gets a telegram from the ruined spiders, and I guess that's all it takes for us to be friends. I, th I have to say it was more satisfying to stomp her the first time through, though. All right. Filled with determination. Well, I only used one healing item, right? So that's not too bad. I wonder if any of my online fans are spiders. Do spiders even use the internet?
Are you kidding? The spiders love to surf the web. Sans! You're right about something! I haven't heard from Sans in a long time. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> a tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Well, I guess we know what's coming up next. Oh, that human. Could it be? My one true love? You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance. So if you won't give it your all, then I'll skip ahead for the audience's sake. Ah, uh, show must go on. <laughs> yes! Oomph, I am so overwhelmed with tragedies! The king has ordered you to waste away in the castle basement. And before we even had time to sing a sweet song about it, my dear heart, I can barely look upon you, knowing what comes next. Well, toodles! I mean, that saved us a lot of time. <laughs> oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. I'll write that. Oh heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and yada yada yada, it's impossible. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules. Great! Nah, even though I've done this twice, I don't think I have any way of getting through in 30 seconds. I believe it is actually possible, apparently, but I don't know. You'd have to, like, really be memorizing the puzzle. <laughs> My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Alright. Um, how would you ever get through this? Oh, look at this! We're making progress, guys! Totally making progress. Uh, I did pretty good. I didn't burn this time, right? I mean, I didn't get to the end, but that was way further than last time. Looks like you're out of time. Well, I'm still gonna burn to death anyway, of course, but I'm pretty sure the flames just caught up with me last time and I didn't get anywhere. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. <laughs> Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into a firewall right now. It's like he was waiting for her phone call, wasn't he? Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's totally not all part of the show. That's right! Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together like the end in the animes. Your puzzle's over. Now, go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Elphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster... Is me! Uh-oh. Yell! His metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling! Say goodbye! Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey! That's, this seems bad, but don't worry! There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the phone and act on it. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. <laughs> Upside down, space invader time. Now press shoot. Ooh. Ooh. You 
have defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought! Etc. Looks like you beat him. You did a really great job out there. All thanks. Yeah, sure. I mean, clearly this is this is a plot. I'm suspicious. Um. Hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Uh, before I met you, I didn't really, I didn't really like myself much. For a long time. I felt like a total screw-up. Like, I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. But, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thank you for letting me help you. Well, anyway, almost to the core. Just past the resort. Come on, let's finish this. Maybe. Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here! These two fellas bought all my ice cream! I've actually sold out of everything! Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile, how about that? I'm so happy. <laughs> oh hey, we're like, taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undine about this, okay? He seems happy. <laughs> Well, it's kind of nice not killing everybody. Oh, there's the other side of the, uh, the set. I can't believe you got to dance with Meta- I skipped that. Big deal. Earlier, the human and I danced with death. Wow! Is death cool? Yeah. She's like, super hot. <laughs> what? RG1 and 2 are slacking off. Come on, they should be killing you right now. Not that I want them to, I mean, but they should at least try, you know. I had to call it, you know, I had to call it. All right, R3. Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Uh, sorta? What, you remember? How could I be so easily defeated? It was like, Mr. Flamey or Haughty Flame Man. I will always remember that you remembered. And this just loops us around all the rest of the... Yeah, now we can go for sure anywhere. Okay. Wait, what if R and L stand for right and left? No way, that makes no sense. Because if you face the opposite way, they'd be wrong. I guess if I'd been calling them about every... Elevator, they probably have had a story there, and I just missed out on most of it. It's hard to remember to phone them every screen. Like, sometimes it doesn't even work. Alright, so the right side is the shop. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure, why not? Oh, great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've always got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond. Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming. 
and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through the door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincere, sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? We may have died a couple times. Last time for sure, though. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Funny to say you haven't d died a single time, you know. Mediton says everything. A platoon of ficuses. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I just kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Sans and all of his secret exits. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. I work at the core! The inside is a maze made of swappable parts! That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha <laughs> ha That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. He is a terrible comedian as well. Blub blub, you have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... And we walk away. Alright, we got ourselves a Meditan resort where the... That's <laughs> so bad. I feel like this would cause some flooding. <laughs> the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort is prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through, nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. I'm supposed to be looking for like a Judy or something, aren't I? Yes, we know the elevator of the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold. Not right now. 
do let us know if you've changed your mind. Have a sparkular day. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium. Home of the Glam Burger. Oh, that's right. We're going to buy some of this. I have no money. It would be nice to buy some of these things for the Metaton boss fight. All these things would be very helpful. Please don't ask. Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Well, I have no money, so I can't really buy anything right now. So happy. Kind of looks like Tingle, right? Yeah, I'm not going to be home tonight. Uh, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. <laughs> the dragon with the treasure hoard. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel is doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. As a slime, I'm outraged. Ooh, ah, room service. Oh, I already ate it. I could have delivered a CT, guys. Ooh, ah, room service. Got my cinnamon bun. I don't even remember. Somewhere near the beginning you could buy those, right? Seems like you could put something under the door. You put a hot dog in front of the door. A white paw shoots out from under the door. It tries to pull the hot dog into its room, but it keeps pressing down too hard and the hot dog keeps spinning away. It finally succeeds. You hear the grinding of stone. A single hush puppy slides out from under the door. You got hush puppy. a very, very high level healing item there. This wonderful spell will stop a dog from casting magic. Probably helps on some of the fights in the last area. Now, is this the one... You put a dog residue in front of the door. It slides underneath the door, as if pulled by a magnet. Two dog residues slowly slide back. So yeah, I believe you can infinitely create more of them if you want. I mean, it takes a while. If that's something you want to do, you can do it. And I guess you could go back to, uh... Teffies and sell them for like a gold each or something. But we still haven't found that Susie, Judy, whoever it is, girl that the uh, the clam person was telling us about. Maybe it was one of the girls back here. Nope, it's Caddy and Braddy. They're so hilarious. I had to do it twice. Totally wicked expensive that they found and cheap. And I should buy it all. Where does anyone get guns or food? From the garbage. Good garbage. Really good garbage. The garbage store? I found a gun in a dumpster? <laughs> That's great. Oh my god, Metaton! Robot husband. We're already married to him. He just doesn't know it yet. Old question mark? These, yeah, these two remember Alfie's. That's cool. She showed us the coolest place to find trash. Uh, 
A robot with a soul. That's kind of interesting too, actually. Total goober! I love that guy. He's so nice. So hyped for the destruction of humanity. <laughs> That's great. Well, we don't have any money, so we're not going to be buying any guns. I don't really need the cowboy hat anyway. Now, the mystery key is something I might want. How am I going to get 600 gold, though? Six hundred gold's a lot of grinding. I spent all my money on the spider boss. I guess we'll see how much gold we get for fights in the next area. In the core. I do need to end the episode fairly soon. Maybe I'll just see... Like... Just one random battle. I don't remember who those people are supposed to be either, honestly. Take the elevator up to the top of the core! The elevator's not working though, right? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Alphys! That pit isn't on my map. I don't remember this either. <laughs> She's just so good at leading us on. Uh-oh. Spooky guards. Magic pops out of its hat. You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Ooh, we get defense. Please and thank you. Oh, that's not how to do it. This magical mercenary only says magic words. Please and thank you, the magic words. That's good, I like that actually. Smells like magic. Magic interrupts you by chattering to itself. It seems satisfied. Alright, I think I know how to dodge them now better. Arcane swear words? I guess you just have to talk to it and he leaves you alone. Now these are like mercenaries, right? They were hired to kill us by somebody. Orange, orange, blue. It's backwards. Thanks, Alphys. You got me hit again. You gave me the wrong order, completely. I can't be too mad at her, but... Maybe we should just not follow her instructions. <laughs> well, maybe I should have followed her instructions. <laughs> A night knight! Sing on him, that's neat. Lots of stats. This Megaton mercenary wields the Good Morning Star. Good morning! Adieu. Okay, that's a new attack. I don't think I've seen this either. He breathes deeply. Well, let's try singing. You sing an old lullaby. Night night start, look, starts to look sleepy. Ooh! Close your eyes. Bullet hell again. You keep singing. Night Night closes its eyes a bit. How many times do we have to sing to this guy? He falls asleep. Perfect. Ah, that's not bad. Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? C come on, you trust me, don't you? She is playing games though, right? 
set this whole thing up. I won't mess around. I'll just deactivate the lasers. But then she can't for some reason. Uh huh. Oh. Alright. She did help us. Good job, Alphys. Unless you're just doing this all to test us. Which is possible. Alright, we made it to another save point. Good. Okay, you should... I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I have to go. I guess the idea is probably that she was planning on... She, like, she set this whole scenario up for us to, uh... To fight the robot, the Metaton, and all that. But it's like, as we're going through it, she changes her mind on how she wants to handle us, kind of thing. Anyway, the ozone makes us, fills us with determination. And it fills me with the urge to take a break, because we're over 30 minutes, and we need to split the episodes up. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more of The Core. And maybe I'll make enough money to go back and buy that key, because I'm very curious. I could do some grinding off camera, but we'll see how I feel later. Anyway, that's all for now. See you guys.